so thank you for asking me, uh, Samira, about the upcoming summit that I'm doing. And I want to share this with, with for everyone watching this. I'm excited to be launching my very first virtual summit. Um, I have spoken at I have spoken at summits since 2009, all the way back then, at least one or five a year since then. And now I'm launching my very first one 13 years later. And the reason why it took me so long to launch it is because I've seen my colleagues and friends launch summits. And every single time, they end up exhausted, burned out. And I'm like, I don't want that experience of launching a summit because summits are usually like, you know, um, 12 speakers is like the minimum. It's usually like 15 to 45 speakers. And I even have a friend, get this, had 1,000 speakers in his summit. And um, his name is Mark Walsh. And he's actually one of the speakers of my summit. He has a thousand, not participants, speakers. He had a million participants, a thousand, um, almost close to, uh, I'm sorry. It was, it was, uh, yeah, I think it was at least half a million. If not, I think they got to a million at some point participants, a thousand speakers. <laughs> so, and, and he was, he's been public about this. He burned out so badly. I mean, can you imagine? He had to build a team very quickly, skip. So long story short, I am calling this a gentle summit because I'm trying to pioneer, I hope this becomes a trend, of people, summits are a wonderful thing, can be a wonderful thing to grow your audience, to get together with people you respect and you know present on a topic that you love to, to share with the audience. And the audience gets a lot out of it. So this is a gentle summit because guess what? We only have five speakers. <laughs> You've never heard of a summit like this. People go, isn't that just a panel? <laughs> no, well, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm calling it a summit. I'm calling it a gentle summit. It's five speakers. I'm one of the speakers. So there's only four other people to wrangle, <laughs> four other cats to herd. And it's not easy herding, herding speakers, uh, getting, getting them to give me this and give me that. But I'm trying to make it as easy on them as possible too. So it's gentle on me, gentle on them, and gentle on the audience. You don't have to pick you know, three sessions a day to pick from or to attend all five or whatever. And you could just, it's one session um, twice, twice a week. It's two sessions a week. It's very gentle. It's very doable. Um, and also it's gentle on me because I'm, I'm charging for it. So that's also unusual for summits. Summits are usually for list building. You know, that's a, the most common strategy. I'll oh, build your email list with online summits. And it's, I'll be frank with you. I think that strategy is cynical. That strategy of summit list building is cynical because the host creator of the summit is really the whole time they're thinking, all right, I build this list, got to build this list. And really they're using the speakers to build their list because the speakers are required to, you know, any of you who have been invited to speak on summits, oh, you got to have a list of 5,000, got to email two times. That's the most common strategy formula for summits. I'm tired of it. And I tell, I told my speakers, you don't have to promote a single time. You don't have to say a single word to your audience about your summit, about the summit that you participate. Yes, speakers, no promotion needed or even expected. You can, of course, I'm happy for you to promote anything you want, but no promotion required or even expected of the speakers. Why? I'm going to promote. Obviously, I'm going to promote. And not only me, I'm asking my audience, if you like this, if you like the idea of this, will you help me share it? You know, a thousand people helping to promote it is better than five speakers or 45 speakers promoting it. Okay. So now the audience not required to, but if they are genuinely inspired by the idea, of course, the natural overabundance of that, they're going to share it. So, um, so gentle on the speakers, gentle on me, because at least I'm going to charge a little bit for it. Gentle on the audience too. The price is going to be uh, 75, $75 for, for the summit after, uh, it starts, but the pre-launch is $40. Some of you, sorry, are watching this after the pre-launch is over, but $75 is still worth it. Cause I told my speakers, listen, what are you going to say? So I, we had a collaborative Google doc. Um, I'll, I'll teach this method sometime in the future. I'm going to do a couple summits under my belt before I teach it. But we had a collaborative Google doc where the speakers saw each other put in their bullet points for what they're going to talk about. And I had certain guiding questions to help them put their bullet points in. And I have one of the bullet points said, what else 
can you teach that or offer as a bonus that will make the summit worth at least $50 to pay for? So if each speaker offered something that's worth at least $50 and to the attendee, it's worth well worth $75 to pay for all five of us. So anyway, um, it's going to be well worth it. And so there'll be surprise bonuses from the speakers and the sessions themselves will be really high level, really like impactful. Um, so it's, so unlike the typical cynical st summit strategy of using the speakers and using the audience to just build one's list, I'm not using anybody. I I'm using myself. But what I'm doing is I am creating something that I'm really proud of for the audience to experience. That's different. Most of the time, summits are like, I'm like, wait, you want me to, some summits are so, I know, in my opinion, sorry to criticize anybody on this, but it's true. I, I, I think you want me to record a 30, 20 minute segment. And you're not even, you're not going to ask me quite, you, you just want me to record a 20 minute segment and even pitch my thing as part of that 20 minutes. Are you kidding me? And how many people do you have speakers do you have doing this? Like the audience is being used to build an email list. It's, it's, it's a kind of a sham. You know, most, most summits, true, in my opinion. Sorry. Sorry, summit creators. Um, but that's my opinion, and I'll stick with it. So this uh, summit's different because I'm building some, it's a, it's, a, it's a work of love. Um, it's something that I'm proud. It's the, the people should be, should be happy to pay for it right from the get-go. It's not free. There's no free attendance because it's not a list building thing. It's a product that's worth paying for. And so um, I'm looking forward to it. My speakers, so how did I choose the speakers? Uh, basically, obviously they are friends. And obviously I think they have something interesting to say. And I'm gonna learn from what they're gonna say. I'm actually interested in interviewing them and like asking them some very, in we already bullet point out. And not only do we did a bullet point out, we also, and we also, polled my audience on the list of 20 bullet points we came up together like the things they could talk about i polled my audience which ones are you most interested in and then my audience voted and then the the top you know um seven or eight items uh the top five items are going to be covered most heavily and then you know different perspectives and then the other there's another like uh 10 items that are less voted but still interesting to talk anyway so uh my summit speakers are friends people I'm really interested in talking to. And yes, it's true. They have a similar sized or larger audience than me. I'm not asking them to promote, but chances are they're probably going to mention it some in some way that they feel super comfortable doing without my pressure. So uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to this and I hope you will enjoy it as well.